previously on Investigations 2. Mr. Gasabia, the events of the incident 18 years ago... Tell us what really happened. I said, Mr. Gustavia, there's one thing I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me why it was necessary for you to cooperate with Isaac Dover. Now, Ben Dover. Now, where was I? Oh, shoot, we- oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. I thought I was gonna go into, like, a- the other thing that we do, the cross-examination. During the contest 18 years ago, Mr. Gustavia collaborated with Mr. Dover. I wonder, what made them decide to cooperate in the first place? I was wondering about that before. I had this weird theory I threw out there, something about they... that maybe somehow they knew about the pharmacy thing and they just wanted to... make sure she didn't win or something. That's what I need to draw out from him, but... Oh man, oh this is getting serious now. Huh. Pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. Okay, so then that would be the time to, like, lay off then, right? Because usually you lay off when they're pissed off, but if that's what he does when he's... Well, it's when things are going his way, I don't know. So first ask about why. Truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Oh, man. Edgeworth, are you sure we can do this? Why did you collaborate with Mr. Dover? Why did you decide to collaborate with Isaac Dover? Mr. Dover and I were already acquaintances, even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. Huh, joining forces with a sculptor. You weren't confident in your own abilities. Mm. You know nothing about me. We wanted to make great works together. You had a crush on him, didn't you? Um... You couldn't make it on your own? I'll reveal all your lies for what they are. Mmm. Is that all you've got? You bore me with your empty threats. <sighs> okay. Alright, that's so I was wrong then. I must read my opponent's reactions and emotions to strike with the right words. <laughs> and hiccup occasionally, just for, you know, to keep things light. To keep the levity going, you know. Okay, he is pretty much pissed off there, so yeah. I was reading it as, like, oh, wait till he meditates and then wait. <laughs> Maybe it's the complete opposite, actually. I don't know. Sir Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. Yeah, I remember that. We all got along well from the start. Really? So were you going to share the title of World's Greatest Space Chef together? Mm, nope. <laughs> oh, okay, wait and see. My condition may be worsening. I should get back to the infirmary. Wait! I was too passive there. Oh, yeah, so it is. Alright, alright, alright. Gotta be careful here. Wake your ass up! <laughs> As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. Oh, so by, th by things aren't going his way, you meant, like, I'm winning the argument. Gotcha. I doubt he had any interest in the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. Nobody was here for the contest! Jeez, man. <laughs> Indeed, my goal was the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. What are you talking about? However, Sir Dover's goal was the grand prize, the angel's recipe. Hmm. So, a reason why your partnership soured. Okay, so here's the part, then. Sir Prosecutor, I am a victim of a poisoning. If you're going to suspect me in this manner, please make it quick. Oh, huh. Wait a moment. In that case, you should end things soon. I am not a patient man. Well, you better be patient, because I got three more pieces to break on you, buddy. See if he's trying to leave. He's still hiding something. Next, I should ask him about his true goal. Okay, we're all right. They took it easy. I mean, I made every mistake you could possibly make there, and still didn't run out of time, so... Alright, did you want to appear on Piece of Cake? Did you have another goal besides the title? I think you had another goal besides the title. I'm not sure where we're going with that yet, but... That seems like the... How dare the likes of you insult the title of the confectionery artist! My only goal was the title itself. I had no interest in anything else. My dream was to become the world's greatest pastry chef! Yeah, you've said that. <laughs> it would be impossible with your skills. Uh, he seems pretty agitated or something. 
Ooh, that's how it's going down fast. 18 years ago, I was lacking in design sense. However, things are different now. Oh. Are you saying you have improved at your craft? Exactly! For I've trained at the Republic of Zingfa! That's right. I failed to see the results of your training. I think this might be okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, no, that was too soon. Yikes. Ooh, be careful there. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... They're not kidding around anymore with this. Holy moly. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna wait and see again here. Yes, yes. At the time, I also studied Mr. Master's works. I would often watch his show with my son. So you were studying Mr. Master's work to improve your own skills. If you had his recipes, perhaps it would have been easier for you to become the world's greatest. We're in trouble here, though. Perhaps. To a pastry chef, Sir Master's recipes were worth their weight in gold. Oh. No, we need to hit him now. You were interested in his recipes. One specifically. Yep. Oh my gosh, I... Hmm. I almost feel like we could have gotten there either way. Let's, well, maybe not, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I wonder about that. Yeah, I do too. Angel's recipe's true nature was not for making desserts, but cures. Mm -hmm. All the contest participants should have been aware of that. We're wearing him down, you can tell, because he's kind of like conceding. Ugh, looks like I'm getting close. He isn't meditating anymore. Now to slowly but surely drive him into a corner. Oh, thank God. Next, I'll ask what he planned to use the recipe book for. That's the thing, though. Do you know the recipe book's value? You're trying to make desserts with it. Oh, let's go with value here. The Angel's Recipe. Did you know its true value? Silly question! It contains Sir Master's best dessert recipes. Any pastry chef worth their salt would want it. Seems I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line. Okay, cool. Alright, you tend to make desserts with it. Yeah, I'll start there. That actually makes... Ugh, where I should have gone. Of course, if I obtained the Angel's Recipe, I was going to use it in my training. I hear the Angel's Recipe was worth a lot of money. Mm, I don't know the exact details, but... That recipe book was much too valuable to be sold. Uh-oh, he's doing it again. You seem to know a lot about the book. Yep. It was explained to all of the contest participants at the beginning of the contest. Well, I don't think they told her everything. <laughs> In case you must know about the recipe book's true nature, that it was not a recipe book for desserts at all. He totally knew. So you know the true nature of the Angel's Recipe. The Angel's Recipe. Some have called it the ultimate recipe book. <laughs> but this is not Danganronpa. It contained formulas for new medicines that were not yet on the market. He knew the recipes were actually formulas for new medicines. This could be a useful clue. Okay, so then, now. Value. Silly question. Here it is. You know what the recipes actually are. You may have studied design in Zengfa. However, your skills in lying could use more work. <laughs> you just said earlier that the angel's recipe contained formulas for medicines. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You weren't interested in desserts. You wanted the medicine formulas. You crafty. Did you need a new medicine? Oh my gosh. Oh no. These kind of stories never go well. Can we say Spider-Man 3? It's one thing nobody ever talks about that movie. It's the entire reason Mr. Sandman was doing what he was doing. It was because he was trying to save his daughter. And to think all he had to do was move to Canada. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, my goal was more than just the pile of the the, the pile of the world's greatest pastry chef. At the time, my son was ill. I needed the recipe for the medicine. There you go. 
to protect my son's honor, I can say no more. Judging by the worried look on his face, I must have struck a nerve. It's getting feelsy in here, y'all. Oof. If I want to do this, <laughs> this is it. This will be my final move of the game. I don't think so. Uh, what was your son like? Let's start easy. What kind of person was your son? Oh, my boy! He loved the desserts I made. He ate them all day long. Did you enter the contest solely for your son? Sir Prosecutor, you can never understand the feelings of a father has for his son. Well, I mean... I wanted nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. Do I really doubt that? Until the semi-finals, my son would always drop by the contest venue to play. Is that so? Wouldn't he get in your way? I doubt you had time to care for your son while you were challenging Mr. Master. That may be so. Look at the way he's squeezing the nipples, man. Oh, that may be so, but I wanted to grant my son's wish. He said he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. Son sounds pretty healthy to me. Oh. I don't want to, like, deny it. I feel like that's... My condition may be worsening as you get back to the infirmary. Wait! Crap! What was the name of the illness? Oh, this is a big one, man. What was the name of your son's illness? Sir Prosecutor, how insensitive of you! My son was seriously ill. I will not be discussing this with the likes of you. Okay, so yeah, we, we are out there. Did the recipe book have the only cure? This might be another one where we need more clues, though. Yes, though the medicine is being sold everywhere now. At the time, the recipe book was my one and only option. That's why I continued making my desserts without joining the others for tea time. So you weren't interested in what Mr. Master was making? You sure seemed confident in your chances of winning. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' desserts. You had interested in Mr. Master's works, so let's do it. You said earlier that you study Mr. Master's works. In addition, if your goal was to win the, con the contest, you must be curious about the other contestants' entries as well. Look out. We are so close here. We are so close. There was time to sample the other desserts during the contest, but none of their entries had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. Oh my god. He just said it. He had the taste thing, didn't he? So everything he ate tasted flavorless. Yeah. This could be- Oh, you- It was it. Oh my god. Can I- The name of the illness. It wasn't his son's illness at all. It was his illness. Oh. Okay. Alright. Then we go back into this one, then. What kind of person was your son? We went through this already. Wait, wait, wait. Well, no, it did let me go, like, one step further here. Your son sounds pretty healthy to me. About your son? If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult for him to come and play with you? Well, that's kind of a stretch. I mean, you know, even kids in wheelchairs go out to concerts and... <laughs> well, I don't know, that's what you see on Facebook. Maybe that's not really how it is, but... It wasn't life-threatening. I serve as a clue. Okay, do we have enough for this now, then? What's the name of your son's illness? Looks like that clue will come in handy. But the illness wasn't life-threatening. You told me- Oh, I got a pitch up in here now! Have I not seen these yet? I don't think I've seen one of those yet. Is there really a need to be so secretive about it? About this illness? It was enough to keep him from living a normal life. That must have been difficult for your son. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. It wasn't fair for the poor boy. Oh. Was he too fat? Was it a taste disorder? The angel's recipe contains a cure for a certain illness. A remedy that could also cure Mr. Master's taste disorder. What? He had it too? He had it too. I see. So your son suffers from a taste disorder. Pop! I don't think you'd figure it out so quickly! In order to cure your son's taste disorder, 
You needed the recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? That was it. It's as you say. Based on how he's acted up until now, it appears he is still hiding something. Looks like that clue will come in handy. Oh, the other one. You also had the illness. Oh, I got a rook now. Being unable to taste anything regardless of what you eat. Such a bitter illness. That reminds me. Didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel like eating any of it. Yep. Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. Psh! Man, it always looks like I'm about to pop him because the thing pops behind it. <laughs> it's hard to imagine being a successful pastry chef without a sense of taste. Well, Beethoven was deaf, so... <laughs> that was Beethoven, right? Perhaps what you really wanted was to cure yourself? Mm, that's completely ludicrous. Ludicrous speed, go! You must have worked hard then. Um, I think I might need to wait and see here. Oh no, 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 shoot. Okay, oh boy. Man, I'm, I'm almost back to where I was, but I'm running out of time here. It's as you say, based on how he's acting. So, so then, also had the illness, oh boy. That reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? Whether their entries had any flavor, perhaps. Oh man, we're in trouble here. You made those desserts all by yourself. Didn't you collaborate with Mr. Dover? I don't know, I felt, I, I could have, I wanted to say that last time, but I, I thought it was too obvious. Maybe I shouldn't. Just... Did you cooperate with Isaac Dover in the contest? You can hardly say you made those desserts all by yourself. Oh shoot. Jeez, you must take great pride in your abilities as a pastry chef. But to betray your pride and cooperate with another contestant... You did it all to cure your own disease. You dumbass. Well done, Sir Prosecutor. It is as you say. The one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I. Nice grammar. D you must use Grammarly, huh? <laughs> no one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. It doesn't matter how long a secret is kept. Ooh, my throat's trying to close in on me here. If you lie before me, I will expose it. Oh! <laughs> Dane Gustavia and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for the new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition, and Dover most likely to sell the recipe book for money. For this reason, they entered the contest as a collaborative effort. And with that... Checkmate! I knew it. I knew it was coming. Oh, that was close, man. I honestly... Oh, I can't believe... But you collaborated with it. Like, that seems so obvious. Like, I thought... I, I don't know. I saw an answer like that, and I thought, wait, they're just baiting me. Like, there's gonna be another twist or something. There were enough twists already just in that, though. I've never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Well, was it caused by something here? Because it, what a coincidence for, like, for him and the other guy to have it. It was a severe disorder. I was unable to discern any flavor at all. It's the one illness the pastry chef dreads above all. The symptoms sound a bit different from Mr. Master's taste disorder. Mr. Master's condition is all no, is known as hypoguesia. Hypoguesia. Oh, man. It's a good thing I didn't go into medicine. Simply causes a decreased sensitivity to certain specific flavors. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ugh. In order to cure your taste disorder, you would need Mr. Master's Angel's recipe. And that's why you entered the contest, am I correct? You know what's weird about this, though? Because the stuff we were talking with Mr. Master about it... If he had the cure, why does he still have the illness? Because when we were talking to him, he said he still had it, right? Or was he saying he had it 18 years ago? That's... ah. Uh, I remember him saying, talking about the illness, but I don't remember when... Like, okay, anyway. That's why you entered the contest, my right? That was one of my goals, but I still had my sights set on the title of World's Greatest. When it comes to making desserts, I won't lose to anyone. 
Even without the ability to taste, I still have the utmost confidence in my flavors. Oh, so I presume you also prepared your dessert in the finals with the intent to win? Mm, that goes without saying. Mm. It has tasted the same as the other guys, though. Yeah. It seems the dessert you made for the finals was not rated highly in regards to flavor. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gustavia, you will tell us about how you made your dessert during the finals. Very well. What if you got Mr. Dover's help and Mr. Dover sabotaged it? Knowing he wouldn't be able to tell the difference or something. It seems I must teach you upstarts a lesson. You upstarts! Wow, so... So Dover and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the flavor, he was in charge of the design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge the master with my own skills. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. I think I already know what to do here. Hmm. Can't find any contradictions in this testimony. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Well, of course he isn't going to fess up that easily. This guy's been on the run for 18 years, after all. Guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him till he breaks, eh? Okay. Well, we can do that. Sarah Dover and I cooperated until the Gargos. I handled the flavor. He was in charge of the design. Alright. So Mr. Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor. Sir Dover was a sculptor by trade. His sense of design was splendid. But he was just an amateur chef. We combined our strengths by working together. That, you never did have much design sense, did you, Mr. Gisalia? I don't know, he, he seems to be able to dress himself rather well. Oh, oh, there he goes, there he goes, oh man. Holy gee, he's gotten better. Holy mackerel. Hmm, that's the symbol of Zeng Fa. Wow, a phoenix, that is really good. And not a reference at all, I'm sure. <laughs> Whoa, happy clap. You really have approved these past 18 years. Ha 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 Behold the fruits of my 18 years of training! I'd put my life and limb on the line for my dessert skills. It's true that I cooperated with Sedover 18 years ago. Up until the finals, that is. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge the master with my own skills. Okay. Oh, you're on talking like you know. So you were really serious about the title of World's Greatest Pacer Chef? Yes, confectionery is my life. Naturally, I wanted to be the world's greatest. But back then, I was still inexperienced, and I was no match for the veteran chef. Better chef. But your goal was also... Do we even know who won this thing? Because, like, the murder happened. Did he even get a chance to choose a winner? I, I don't know. Because it's weird that we don't... I, I feel like I should know that, or maybe... It just it was brought up once and I forgot or something? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, man, I almost forgot you were here. I will not stand by and watch your badger a, con a convalescent man like this. My gavel shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. Duh. I realize he's still recuperating, but jeez, man. Jeez, woman. Mr. Gustavia, do not yield to the devilish prosecutor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Well, gee. Way to put him right back in the ring without even giving him so much as a drink of water. Alright. So you helped Mr. Dover with his dessert, but made yours all by yourself. No matter how you look at it, this seems odd. Why didn't Mr. Dover assist you? It matters not how it seems, it's the truth. I do not know what Sir Dover was thinking. It's hard to prove if someone is lying about something that happened 18 years ago. <laughs> okay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? So if it did, I'd have already stolen Mr. Edgeworth's spotlight. <laughs> There's no need for that. I will expose this man's lies myself. Thank you, Salvia. Please continue with your testimony. Well, here comes the turn. The flavor of my entry wasn't good enough. My own lack of training was to blame. Or maybe the fact that you couldn't taste the damn thing. Mm-hmm. 
Well, what if the accident was what took his taste away? Nothing of the sort. I simply would- I, be I betcha that's it. I was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off. That's all. No, that's not it at all. Was your intuition fine while making Mr. Dover's entry? How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? Mm-hmm. We're not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change the topic? Oh wow, here we go. Uh, don't change the topic? Ugh. Alright, let's start with the semifinals. We can get to the others later, if it'll let us do that. I don't know, I'm sure it will. So you're sure there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Other than less competition? Yes, that's right! Aside from not cooperating with Zodover, the finals weren't much different from the semifinals. Okay. So you were still able to make your desserts without Mr. Tover's assistance. I may have liked design sense, but I was confident in the flavor. Apart from the design, there were no major differences between my finals and semi-finals entries. Oh my god, is that how we're gonna prove it? Because, like, the thing about him putting the thing away for... Oh, shoot. Man, because he would have been able to taste it to make sure it was okay before, and then put it away for the next day. But wait, though, the point is that his... What he put in the next day was shitty. Anyway, um... That's sure it's strange, that's not how Uncle Ray remembers it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure both the look and taste of your finals desserts scored poorly. Then there's no way he would have won the contest. Even the flavor, which he was so confident about, failed to materialize. Something must have changed besides Mr. Dover's cooperation. But what? All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. I should already have the keys I need to unravel them. I must recall all the information that Mr. Shields and my father gathered. Your father. Oh, man. This must be really intense for Edgeworth right now. <laughs> Let's see, I'll, I'll ask about Mr. Dover here at this little juncture. Yeah, he didn't know the guy. I knew him well, because they had the sons to play together. Mr. Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. Why is the- I don't know what this has to do with it. I'm interested, though. That it wasn't a coincidence that you both participated in the contest. I heard about the contest, so I made the suggestion to Sir Dover. I was like, hey, buddy, let's go into the contest. He always wanted money for his smoking business. If I recall, Mr. Dover was a greedy man who was always after more money. That's right, they did mention that. Mm hmm. Okay, the recipe book was certainly valuable 18 years ago. But today. You will be able to get 25 cents for it on eBay. Oh, that's a shame. I want at least 50 cents so I can go get a Coke. Not that you can get a Coke with 50 cents anymore. Hmm. That's weird. I had a feeling maybe not changing the topic was the thing to do there. Don't change the topic. Press this thing. We gotta press him for more information. I don't think there's any reason to change the topic. Oh. Oh, shoot. I think I just made a statement disappear from his testimony by changing the subject. I think I need to change it to the right one, and then present on that one, but what if this is the right one? This might be the right one. Let me see. I don't know, well, the only thing I have there that pertains to this, though, is the family photo. The photo of Gustavia Dover and their sons that have always came to visit, up until the finals. Okay, get back to the semi-finals here for a second. Let's see what he said here again. Aside from not cooperating with Mr. Silver. It's weird, when I first saw that statement, I thought there was something weird about it, because for them to put that extra detail in there, aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, because he's really insisting that he didn't cooperate with the guy in the finals. Is there a way that we can really, like, pry into that? What else do we even have here? Finals weren't much different from the semi-finals. Wait, but didn't this just say- wait, I was just looking at this on the sun, on the other statement, and it said, photos of how you did their sons, because obviously I'm always going to visit, up until the finals. That would be pretty different then, wouldn't it? If it weren't for that other statement about the sun, I probably never would have even looked at this. It didn't seem to be important there, but it seems to be important here. 
There was another difference between the semifinals and the finals. But I don't have to tell you that, right? <laughs> we know he came to visit you up until the finals. That is correct. What does that have to do with anything? Well, <laughs> only this. Your son, who always came to see you through the semifinals, was not present for the finals. And then it was only in the finals that your flavor judged poorly. Maybe lack of inspiration? Huh. Oh, his son was- oh my god, he was getting his son to do it for him. Or maybe his son was just taste testing until he got it right. Sort of like that artist that made his wife do the paintings and then took all the credit for them or whatever. Your son's visit must have been very important to you, were they not? Pop, you gonna do it? You gonna tell us? A father could work miracles when his son is watching. Even more so when his son is the one actually making the miracles and he's just taking the credit for them. With my son cheering me on, I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Mr. Gustave sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? If what he's saying is the whole truth, one could say so. But I think the whole tooth is what we're really here to talk about. As in whose tooth was biting these desserts. Mm. His son was taste testing it for him. Oh, he tasted your desserts, baby. Wait, he sold desserts from others. He made your dessert. No, he just tasted them, right? He didn't make them. So it's not really like that artist thing at all. Never mind, I don't know what I said that for. <laughs> it just came to mind. Um, I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course, my son always loved my desserts. In that case, he could have been able to taste test your desserts in your place. Mm. What did you say? Earlier you told us that you have a taste disorder. Mm. <laughs> I've never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. No one else knew about your taste disorder. If Mr. Dovert found out, he would have ended your partnership. After all, you were in charge of the flavor. Ah, uh, that's why. So the accident didn't cause the taste disorder. The taste disorder caused the accident. It wasn't even an accident, the, the, the breakup, I mean. Well, I just thought the taste disorder had something to do with the breakup. Well, actually it did. In a way, I was right, I just had the cause and effect backwards. Mm-hmm. I'm noticing a, a, an interesting... Um... Ugh. I'm noticing, like, an interesting lack of Courtney in this scene. <laughs> we must really be on to something here. Mr. Dova's dessert was made the day before, so it still tasted good. Whoa! <laughs> Why is he laughing? <laughs> What you are saying is quite amusing, Sir Prosecutor. You say that my elementary school son assisted me as a taste tester. You are insulting my pride. Your pride? <laughs> it's true, I had no sense of design 18 years ago. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. You claim I would cast aside my pride and rely on my son? Don't get carried away with your foolish conjecture. You upstart. <laughs> you upstart? <laughs> I'm gonna look that up when we're done recording here, because I wanna know what that means. Like, I've never heard anybody say that, but it's funny. It's like, up truck or butt munch. Anytime you have, like, multiple words like that, compound words, I mean... In that case, I'm sure your son can confirm if my theory is mere conjecture. Well, haha, <laughs> unfortunately for you, I no longer have a... S oh, boy. After my taste disorder was cured, I went to train in Zengfa immediately. During that time, I severed all ties with my son. Oh. So now, so he came up to you and said, Now, to you, I am dead. Mm. Don't tell me. You would even abandon your own son? That's not all. Even today, the whereabouts of his son are still unknown. <gasps> really? Oh my god! Oh my god, okay, just stick- okay, bear with me for a second here. 
What if the sun... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, shoot, man. Okay, 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 okay. Let's calm down for a second here. Um, what if the sun is the detective? What if the sun is Rip Lacer? That's what, that's the first thing that's coming to my mind, and I can't even piece together why I think that. It's like, the son probably knew that the father did it and wanted to pin it on someone else. So he got the confession out of the other guy. To save his dad. I don't know. The police have been searching, but they ain't been able to find any traces of him. Well, if you change your name, you'd probably change to something weird like that, wouldn't you? You wish to confirm your theory? I welcome you to try it. Ha 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 ha! Desserts are the only things that are reported to me. After regaining my sense of taste, my son no longer mattered. Well, what a butthead. Order in the court. Mr. Gustavia's actions are certainly inhumane. However, we are not here to judge whether or not he is a good father. He's just laughing. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I believe this is your loss. After all, there is no evidence left from 18 years ago that could prove your theories. Oh, man. Mr. Edgeworth, there's nothing we can do. Nothing I can do about a kid of full power, I told you already. This rate will never find out the truth. Detective Gumshoe, where are those results? He'll be there. Wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right, I leave it to you, Detective. Send Von Karma, she probably drives faster. I trusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence. If only I knew who that blood belongs to. Miles, there's still one thing that's bothering Uncle Ray. Was Mr. Gustavia's only reason for coming to the Odd Gallery to check out on the body? If he only wanted to confirm the body's presence, he wouldn't have needed to open the case. That's right. Is there a way we can prove this? There is one way. We just need that evidence from Detective Gumshoe. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what are you talking about? Miss Redworth, sorry to keep you waiting, sir! Oh, good timing, Gumshoe. Good timing, indeed. Just the person I've always wanted to see. Well, just, no, not really, but, um, <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't care, but he just wants that info. Mm, I don't see him standing here. Okay, let's just... Oh, there he is! He's up there! Okay. Yes! Man, what are you slamming the hammer for? You're losing! You're about to lose! So this is the evidence that Mr. Pr the Prosecutor Edgeworth is talking about. Huh? Hey, what's this? What's this? This is the first I've heard of it. Mm, well, it won't be the last you've heard of it, I'm sure. This was a request from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone always helping you out? I'm the one in charge of the crime scene. Well, not anymore, buddy. <laughs> I apologize for taking matters into my own hands, but you weren't doing anything, so I'll probably hear his report first. Uh, sure. Detective Gumshoe, what were the results? Here's the report, sir. Something tells me this is just gonna be the biggest... <sighs> Are you guys ready? Just need to take a couple deep breaths here. I really do. <sighs> okay. The victim of the poison gas, Dane Gustavia. What? 